So in the last video, we have uh, downloaded the Eclipse IDE, which is the Kepler version, and then we have done with the unzipping. Now, if you open this Eclipse, so you can see there are lots of files, and one of the files there is your Eclipse application. Now, in order to use Eclipse, you don't have to install it. You just have to unzip it. Okay, it's a plug and play software. So just to use it, just double click on this Eclipse. Say, okay, run. And then it will take some time for the loading. Since it will be your first time, it will take some time. Now you can choose a workspace here. So you can define a workspace anywhere. So what is workspace? It's a place, it's a folder where, where all your project will reside. Let me say this workspace name as instead of saying this, I will say Eclipse Rots. So this is my Eclipse project. And click on OK. Now it will create a folder called as Eclipse Proj in your home folder and then it will open your Eclipse IDE with the with that what with that workspace and that's your Eclipse here okay so initially it will it will look something in this way so if you, you can view just tutorials you can view some sample codes uh, will not do that here we we'll close it now in order to use Eclipse so this is your area so this is the area where you will be having all your projects this is the area you'll be having all your servers, then console, okay? Now, uh, to, to work with Eclipse or to create your sample application, what we need is we have to create a sample project. So to create a project, just right click on this project, uh, project explorer and click on new, click on project. Now there are multiple options you can choose here. So in this, we'll create a normal Java project so we'll select a Java project and say next. We'll give a project name. We'll say sample application. That's your project name, sample app. And then uh, we can simply say next here. And that's the structure you'll be following. So click on finish. Now, once you click on finish, it will ask you for the perspective. So if you can see, this area here, the, the right top, you can see there is something with Java EE. So Java EE is a perspective here. But since we are working as a Java application, which is a core Java application, we have to switch from Java EE perspective to Java perspective. And that's what it's asking for. So we'll say yes, it will convert, it will change the perspective. So you can see from Java EE, it has changed to Java. Now that's your application here. Now, in order to create your uh, first application or first class, what you can simply do is you can just right click on your uh, SRC folder, we'll say new, and we'll say class here, and we'll name this class as, let's say, um, test demo. Now, and we can also mention the package name, we'll say com, that's com dot navin dot test demo. And uh, by default, all the classes in Java, it has a superclass, which is object class. Uh, we also need a main function here. So we'll say public study void main, or a method which, which will be generated automatically. And just click on finish. So you can see we have a test demo class here in which I have a main method. Clear? So in this video, we have seen how to, uh, how to open Eclipse, how to, cho how to choose a workspace, and how to create a sample application in which to create a sample code. So in the next video, we'll see how to write a code in this and how to execute this. So thank you so much for watching and do subscribe for further videos.